On this first day of April, we have an explosive report for you. It is about a town so corrupt, so rife with scandal that it's hard to believe it's in America. We sent Cindy Hom to investigate. This woman was so obsessed with money, she did the unthinkable. Did you try to kill your father? It was father? a long time ago. It was 13 years ago. Let it rest. People want to know. No comment. And this woman devastated her husband with this shocking news. Is it true you had an affair with Senator Kensington? Kensington? No comment. Do you get that? Yes, I think the public wants to know to say, if you had an affair. Say. No, that's it. <laughs> This small town near Buffalo, New York, has earned the unbelievable title as the most scandalous place in America. Residents here say in the last 30 years, not a single day has gone by without some bizarre occurrence. I lied to the Senate committee because... I left my father to die on the living room floor. When I was 16, I, I did have a little affair with the senator. The problems in this small town sound like something straight out of a soap opera. In five, four, April three, Fool. Two, this is a soap opera. General Hospital, one of TV's longest running daytime dramas. Today, April 1st, General Hospital celebrates its 30th anniversary. The half hour debut episode aired in 1963. The concept of the show back then was much the same as it is today. A handsome young doctor nursed the sick and ill at heart. You're lucky to be alive. John Berardino, who plays Dr. Steve Hardy, is the only original cast member still making the rounds at General Hospital. I think the show will go on forever. Now, General Hospital has a uniqueness about it that the other shows don't have. I've always felt that way, and I still do. The key to GH's success may be its continual introduction of new characters and outlandish plots. I think having a husband who is now the pillar of the community try to murder his wife twice is pretty good <laughs> and still maintains his status there. Is and I'm not in jail. And Never have jail. I been. No, I've been brought jail. to court. But this is only the, loves him this is the happiness of a soap opera. You try to kill her twice and we're still married. <laughs> Jackie Zeman has had her share of wild plots. In the last 16 years playing Bobby, she's evolved from a hooker to head nurse of OR, only in a soap opera. Jackie jokes that her personal life sometimes clashes with her soap life. I went through two real-life pregnancies on this show with Jackie, and Bobby had a hysterectomy years ago and can't have children. And I was able to work both times right up until the day before my babies were born, and, and we never showed it. It was just me and my two chins. <laughs> but nothing compares to the stir created by the marriage of Luke and Laura. They were daytime's hottest couple. In fact, on their wedding day, more than a few offices were a little empty as many loyal fans him, called in sick, him, joining the other 14 million viewers who made the episode the highest rated in daytime history. So long as you both shall live. I will. But not everyone in Fort Charles was thrilled about their marriage. My curse on you, Laura and Luke. My curse on both of you. Liz Taylor? What's she doing on the TV soap? Well, the actress checked in as a guest star in 1981 and played a Greek heiress. I'm a reporter from the Herald and I want to interview you. A number of household names got their big break on GH, including Demi Moore, MacGyver's Richard Dean Anderson, and Full House's John Stamos. I am turning on the rock and roll music and pouring into the wine. And have you ever noticed that on a soap opera, no one has ever really gone for good? Even if they died, most of the time they come back as a look-alike relative, which can be very confusing, even for the actors. They invented a twin sister for me that nobody knew about, including me. That was very difficult for me to do. Everybody thought I was the brother, but in point of fact, I was me playing the brother, as well as I could, being a non-actor, play the brother. Even Luke, who moved away with Laura to Texas, has come back as his cousin, Bill. Well, if you want to take the job, may I walk you home? <laughs> and then there's General Hospital's bedside manner. Even though I do love scenes or those scenes that you're talking about, uh, we have fun doing them, you know, and uh, you have to get comfortable with yourself while you're doing them. 
Antonio Sabato Jr. is the latest cause for rapid heartbeat. The 21-year-old Italian-born actor has joined the ranks as one of daytime's sexiest hunks. Antonio, who plays Jagger, appeared in Playgirl this month, but he's quick to point out he didn't quite bear everything. Well, I, I'm an actor. If I ever need money that bad, we'll see. But, you know, I always have my mom coming back to me saying, oh. So what's your prognosis? Will Jagger ever find his family? Will Ryan be exposed as the serial killer? And will Bill O'Reilly meet his evil twin? You know, he does look pretty marvelous there. Nobody wants to meet my evil twin, trust me, least of all me. Thank you, Cindy, for that April Fool's Day report. An Inside Edition.